Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Actually, I'm going to talk to you today a hard message. I want you to open the book of John, chapter 16. Chapter 16. Verse 13. Verse 13. Verse 13. Okay, if to fill Johnny. Hallelujah. I thank our sister Margaret that is translating for me. Well, let's go to John chapter 17. John chapter 17, this is a very popular scripture. The scriptura popolari. The Bible talks about in Ephesians 4:15, it says, preach the truth in love. And uh, I believe strongly that the truth of the Word of God should never be compromised. And it always must be preached with love because God is truth and equally loving. And as you know, Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the lie. So every time you compromise, and the Bible says in 1 John 4, 10, and other scriptures that God is love. Now this is a very important message for all of us as Christians. Every time we compromise love and truth, we are compromising the character of God. You know, I've heard charismatics in Canada, uh, we've got brothers from Canada here, I think, there was one brother in Canada and he goes to a very powerful, good church. I've been there. I've been mightily blessed. And he said to me, you know, that practically it irritated him that Christians want to be so much standing for the truth. Why don't we just focus on love? And I, I obviously shared with him in love that every time you compromise the truth, you're compromising God. We should never compromise love. Because God is love. But God is truth. And since he is both of them, then there is got to be a way where both of them can be done together equally with no problem. Amen. Amen. And Christians should reveal that, that we should put that forward that we are a people of love. We are that. Amen. This is, a, this is a Holy Spirit conference and we're going to look at the scripture in a moment where, where the fruits of the Holy Spirit in Galatians 5.22 So those two things definitely if you have the Holy Spirit and filled with Him and overflowing you will definitely never compromise the truth and never compromise your walk of love. Amen. And for those of you who may still be young in the Lord, I'm not talking about gooey, goosebumps, feelings kind of love. I'm talking about love. Love will challenge you to do things that you don't feel like you want to do. And what I'm going to talk to you about this morning, many Christians don't feel they want to do that. Although it would be nice but I don't feel it. Sometimes we feel it. Sometimes we feel it. 
Amen. John chapter 17. Let us read from um, Okay, let us read from verse 14. Min verse 14. I have given them your word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world I do not ask you to take them out of the world but to keep them from the evil one they are not of the world even as I am not of the world sanctify them in the truth your word is truth as you have sent me in the world, I also send them in the world. For their sakes I sanctify myself, that they themselves also may be sanctified in the truth. Just read it. Verse <laughs> Umma ma mish ta' dinja, bħal ma jiena minix ta' dinja, għaddisom permezz tal verità. Il-kelma tiegħek hi verità. Kif int bagħat lili fid-dinja, hekk jien bagħat lilhom fid-dinja. U jien, minħabba fihom, nagħti ħajti biex huma wkoll ikunu mqatsin permezz tal verità. Na, we, we, most Christians know John 3.16, right? For God so loved the church that, that he gave his only begotten son. Isn't that right? I, I, ah, he loved the world. Jesus came into the world. Amen. Because he loved the world. The Father sent him into the world. And Jesus sends us to the ones he loved. The world. But many Christians are missing a very important ingredient. And that is the next two scriptures. I do not ask on my on behalf of these alone, but for those also who believe in me through their word. So Jesus is praying for you and for me. 2,000 years ago, Jesus prayed for us. Jesus prayed for us right now. Because he is eternal. He occupies yesterday, today, and forever. Now, he prayed that this prayer, what the fruit of this prayer is going to affect this world. Which is verse 21. That they may all be one. And they all looked at each other and said, which one? I normally use that in marriages. <laughs> now, which one am I supposed to be like? Lima we had to post this by here. All right, let's talk about that in a moment. Even as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us. So that the world may believe that she sent me. It dinya ten men illi inti batni. So the result of this prayer is Jesus is looking beyond. Jesus' original plan for the church is that the church will be one. Yeah? And what will be the result of the church being one? The world will be saved. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Do you know I don't care how anointed you think I am? I'm important. And I am anointed. 
Well, you know. <laughs> I don't care how, how, how annoying you think Pastor uh, Pastor Sophocles and his wife and Pastor Joe and Claudia and all the pastors speaking here, including all the Christians listening. You can force you with the Spirit of Santo Pastor Sophocles, you cool pastor, you hardly have a wicked loom, you cool person. There's not one person here that can win the whole of Malta by himself to Jesus. But if we, the church of the living God, the ones who have the word of God, some of us are like a walking Bible. We go to the Bible sleeping. Yeah. Hallelujah. I was amazed. Pastor Sophocles yesterday was just quoting the Bible constantly. And I, I, I honor that. That doesn't mean that if you are not able to do that, you're not anointed. It's just a gift. Yeah. 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 She gave her life to the Lord. Yeah, just a side note, Jehovah's Witnesses have a different Bible. There is nothing, we, we have nothing to do with Jehovah's Witnesses. Most Catholics accept Jesus Christ as Lord and, and, and Jehovah's Witnesses now. You know, and, and that's very you see, that's a very dangerous position. Now I'm talking theology. Jesus in John chapter 8 says, unless you believe I am. What did he say will happen? You will die in your sins. You may be able to quote all the Ten Commandments in full, the amplified version. And you I mean, Pastor Sophocles did a wonderful job explaining it yesterday. Hallelujah. But it's good that you learn so that you will know the difference, so that you will be able to be effective to reach the world. So Jesus here is talking about that if we agree with his prayer and make his prayer come to pass, the world will see us that we are one and then when they see us one, they will believe that Jesus was truly sent by the Father. What will happen? When Christians, Meta Christiani. and I'm going to talk, listen, I am not here trying to mellow down or soften down some important theological issues like, you know, Mary, purgatory, other things. You know, I'm not, I don't want to compromise the truths about those things. All I'm saying is I'm talking about true Bible-believing Christians. Minisha tnit kele u fuq li namlu kompromes fuq affari teologici bħal Marija u purkatori u affari tek. Jena tnit kele u fuq kristjani illi u ma verament mimlijin b'kelma mimlijin b'kelma tani. You know, we, 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 we have, I thank God, we have... Uh, in this conference, we have about eight, eight, I think, people, eight churches participating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven parties. That's, that's, that's a good number. This so, conference, Anna Sebak, is different. If you participate, one number of times, seven. And I thank God for those all participating. Because it is our vision of River of Love to see churches working together. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. For those of you who look at me as your pastor, I don't know everything. You know, I may be the, one of the cutest guys around, you know. But, <laughs> but I don't know everything. <laughs> uh, you know, God has his toolbox. Amen. 
Some are like a sandpaper. Some are like a thriller. Some are like a screwdriver. Some are like a measure, a measuring tape. Some are like a like a like a like a, like a, jig, a jigger. Jigger. You understand? That's me. If you want a good shake up, come to me. You understand? But if, if you want to need a nice soft bed in the back, you need my wife. Yeah. And so God uses all the tools in his box. Amen. There's no, I mean, I, there's not one, one tool that can do all the jobs that God wants to do in His workshop. Amen. I need my brother Joe Finna Cloudy. I need uh, my brother uh, Larry Duca. I need my, 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 my brother Pastor Sophocles. We need each other so that the world, when they see us, is like, praise the Lord, look at that. Wow, they're getting, they're working together. Man, they're in agreement, they're working together. That attracts the world! And the bizarre thing that he is Joe Fenn Cloud, that he is Pastor Larry, that Pastor Sophocles, that the world is the same as the world is the same as the world is the same as the world is the same. Amen! Hallelujah! And we've got, we are the people who have the word. We are the people who have the Holy Spirit. We, have, we are the people who are filled and overflowing with His Spirit. And some of us are still looking and trying to find excuses why we can get together. Amen. Amen. We want, you, this is the heart, this, this is the desire of the Father's heart. I don't want to be the reason why people did not get saved. Amen. Amen. I mean, theologically speaking, all the churches involved here are all in agreement on all the major and the second the major and the third major issues. Um, theologically, that will be yes, the hour we call it in the agreement. Fifteen by NATO for the 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 important. Yeah. So I want to encourage you, encourage your pastors, encourage your leaders to come together, to pray together, to work together. Amen. I mean, I listen. I'm going to say something. I don't believe in floaters because they never grow any root and they never bear any fruit. Okay, but. Number one, you are part of the kingdom. There's one church. It's called the Church of Jesus Christ, of the living God. And then there are many families. There are many congregations. And there could not be one human pastor because there's too much need in the body of Christ. Amen. You know, when I when I was obviously till this very day, God gave me to my mom and dad. I was a baby and they were my mom and dad. Yeah. Then I had my aunts, my uncles, my cousins. Yeah. And sometimes I remember, for example, my aunt is not here, but she comes to our fellowship, Auntie Julie. I remember this. That once a week, there used to, when I was little, a little kid. Um, my aunt used to, to cook like some sort of broth. Like, and though all my food, my mother's food was good, my mother was not, she never cooked like this. So I, 
Every now and then I like to go and have a, a good sip and a good taste. Well, but I didn't stay at my aunt's place. I didn't start calling her mother all of a sudden. I knew that my mom and dad were Donald and Jane. But you know what? Every now and then, my aunt blessed me. Emma called Aunt Etia, can it be Rickney? And she fed me. Oh, Tamatni. And there were others like her. Oh, right, Hanok. Sometimes I would stay over, for example, for two days with my aunt and my cousins and sleep over. Yeah, we all did this stuff. But I did start. All of a sudden, I did start running to my uncle and telling him, I'm, Hey, daddy. You see, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, Paul, te- Paul tells us that he that begot that he begot us, he has begotten us in the law. That Paul begot the Corinthian church in the law. And in the in the Spiritually speaking, he became his their parent, their spiritual parent. Oh, spiritualment, Isu sar mesiro ma shtomil wilt Isu. Yeah. We all have spiritual parents. My spiritual parents. Kolla na mesiri tu omi spiritual. Um, uh, obviously, are not in Malta because I did not find the Lord in Malta. But because my spiritual parents are a bit far away, I have some good uncles and aunts. Emma Perezili, Uma Adin, Bot, and the Tee Taibi, Uma Din, at least the Waslooni and Mole. Amen. Like uh, Pastor Joe Fenneclaudi has been a great support in my life. For example, Pastor Joe Fenneclaudi can support Hafna Haiti. He has spoken a lot in my life. Ek, Ali Hafna Kilim important, Yal Haiti, or Sarajanti. You know, my, my mama and my papa, spiritually, you know, spiritually, sometimes I needed a diaper change, they were not around, and he had to do that. I am I'm, I'm, I'm actually just as I said to you I have about three pages full of notes I haven't touched them yet so we're gonna hear for a while yeah. <laughs> no, no don't be scared be at peace my children <laughs> what I'm sharing with you is this that God wants us to operate as a family. Amen. I want to share with you, um, uh, go to Ephesians chapter 4. Are you, are you learning something? Yeah. <clears throat> the book of Ephesians, if you are new in the Lord, is a very powerful book. Listen, Ephesians 4, verse 1 through 7. Therefore I, the prisoner of the Lord, implore you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling by which you have been called. Watch with all humility. This morning my wife had to tolerate me. Sometimes I tolerate her. Thank God that when 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 I am not when I'm not acting nice. That my wife decides to walk, decides to walk in the spirit. When my wife is not acting nice, I decide to walk in the spirit. And I tolerate her, or and she tolerates me. Because we are people who are susceptible to making mistakes. We want to be tolerated, but we don't want to tolerate other. Yeah, and that's why Christians grumble. 
because they are intolerant. Aș mai fost și tolerau. Amen. We need to tolerate because what is going to talk about is they're going to talk about the Holy Spirit in a couple of other scriptures. So what if somebody does not agree on some minor difference? Allora, billi kun hemm xi ħadd li ma jaqbilx fuq xi differenza żgħira. Do you know what? I married a woman I don't agree on everything with either. Ej, na żewġ tmara li ma naqbilx kollox magħha. We sleep together. Nor edu flimki. No way. Way ya vera. We don't agree on everything. Ma naqbilx kollox. Is there a person in your life you agree on everything with? Kem persona wahda li forse taqbel mi aw yaw ma ha kollox. Eh, well. Are you like me? I am not alone. Jena ma taqbluš kollox bi e kif molla jitu xi dejkom. Xbit xazrali. You see, we understand this in a family setting, but when it comes to a, the family of God setting, all of a sudden we want everybody perfect. Meladil hajo ni fluwa fil familia fil natural, imam bat fil familia spirituali. Mi pretendo li kul hat perfect. Except myself, of course. Nif, yin in nifsi obviamen. People of God who are filled with the Holy Spirit tolerate one another and give room for mistakes. Poplu talla illi mim li bli spiritu santo jittollera lil xorxin u jati spazju għal zbali li jistaw isir. Amen? Amen. I am not talking about child abuse mistakes. Mishet li tkellem fu abuz fu itfal per ezempi da kittib ta zbali ta. That is a premeditated, a purposefully planned demonic scheme da kuwa tip ta skema demonika preditata mi xitan that is not a mistake da kuwa xit zbal ok a mistake is when you're walking you mean well and you stumble e zbal luwa metin ti mishi ti prova ta melit ta jeb imma ti tfix kelf xahaja You know, I don't have one ounce of doubt. I believe in all of you here that every one of you have a genuine hunger in your heart, no matter how much you know the Bible or you don't, that you want to please the Lord. I na mandi shlich ken dubiu flap da wehet minkom eli into medinau tafu kem tafu el kelma li tishti o vera ment falkom eli toj bol el lala. Is that true? Vera dan. Is that true that no matter whether you got saved yesterday or you got saved. 10 years or one century ago your heart is lord i want to please you vera li kem yek tait haitek el mulay el bira yo sek luilu fil alf ya kliem wa li tishti li tojo pralla amen is that you that, that describe you that ki describe kli le amen then then i can think that if you messed up or if you hurt me or if i hurt you you say he didn't mean to hurt me Allura, jekk inti jina weġajtek, jew inti weġajtni, jina nista najt, ma rċi għamela posta. Amen? We tolerate each other. Li toleraw, li xur xin. We leave room for making mistakes. Jina għallu spaz, ju bix nammu spani. Amen? Remember, we're imitating somebody who has already done that with us constantly. Et nimitaw li xaħat fil-fat il jamel dan maħna il-ħin kollu ta. Amen? Hallelujah. You know, I, you know, when people come to me, it's not the first time that people come to me and say, Pastor, I'm sorry about this. No big deal. Most of the time, I don't even know about it. <laughs> no big deal. You know what? Because if you, if you are going to come to me about everything you've done wrong, most probably you're going to expect me to come to you about everything you think I've done wrong. Aċi jekk intom taħzbu li tijdu tiġu għandi għal kol ħħġa li tamlu ħazin, għabli taħzbu li kol ħħġa li jina namelu kol li għahna ħaniġu kol. What about if I don't have a clue that I did something that in your eyes was wrong? U jekk jina per eżempi għasi kol li idea li għamil ċa ħħġa li fajn jekk deret ħazina. Now you're going to step into a very dangerous zone called the bait of Satan. Zona perikoluza hafna liya lishkata satana. Where you get offended. Fated you offend of these. With somebody. Shahat. That they did something. Yamlu shahaja. And they have no clue they did it. Oman dom shi idin ali amlua. That's why you can't afford to be offended. 
Għalhekk ma tistax inti qed tafforri dik li tkun offis. 1 Corinthians 13 the Bible says from verse 4 to 8 love believes the best. Ehm l-mħabba temmen l-aħjar. Amen temmen l-aħjar. Do you believe the best? Temmen inti l-aħjar. Do you believe every people and all those who are here this morning? They made a sacrifice to wake up early, especially after we finished late last night. I believe every one of you believe you desire to do the right thing. Go to, what time is it? Because my, my clock watch stopped. Go to the time now. 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 Now, having... Given space to one another where we can mistake, we can make mistakes and tolerate with each other in love by the Holy Spirit and not shoot each other down immediately. Now watch is going to happen. Being diligent to preserve the unity. Of the spirit in the bond of peace. Amen. So let's read it the other way around. So as you did, as you're diligent to preserve the unity. You're gonna do, do this. By showing tolerance for one another. By being humble with one another. By being gentle 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 with one another. You see, I read it the other way around. And now, Tarau, if you are right, I will contra. I'm telling you the result is this. Min wara al odim, et tarau lo resultat. We're going to preserve the unity. Ane preserva ulo nita. Between Christians. Be Christiani. We need to be tolerant to one another. Eh, eri to kuno tolerant le shorshin. We need to be patient. Believe the best about each other. Amen. And when we when somebody hurts us, we don't all of a sudden automatically assume that they're out to get us. Amen. Because the enemy is after the unity, because he knows there is power in unity. Amen. The Bible talks about that nations can be saved through the unity of the church. Do you know that, that in Revelations 21, and also with Matthew chapter 7, if I'm not mistaken, it talks about the sheep nations and the goat nations. You know what that means? The sheep nations are those nations who have been saved. Do you believe that Malta can be saved? Amen. Amen. Malta and Gozo will be saved. Malta Amen. Amen. This conference is working towards that. This conference is working towards that. By preserving the unity in the bond of peace. By preserving the unity in the bond of peace. Amen. Amen. As we come together in unity, the enemy will notice, the world will take notice. Meta ahna nina adu ek flimkien funita ila adu yinduna, imma dinja tinduna. Amen. Go to Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. Now this is our theme scripture for the conference. Remember in John chapter 16 from verse 11 to 13. Jesus says when the Holy Spirit comes he shall speak. This is one of the reasons why I believe everyone who is filled 
with the Holy Spirit will speak with other tongues. Din jew hada ma rajunijiet għal fejjina nemmen illi meta wieħed jintelab li Spiritu Santo ħaj jitkellem blilsna. Because anyone who is filled with the Holy Spirit, you will hear him utter words by the Spirit. Għax daw kell li jikunu mimlijin li Spiritu Santo ħat tisma li Spiritu jaj lek kli mimlijin li Spiritu Santo. But watch now. Ephesians 5.17 So then do not be foolish. But understand what the will of the Lord is. What is the will of the Lord? Do not get drunk with wine. So if you get drunk with wine, stop doing that. For this is dissipation. Now watch. This is the will of the Lord. That you be filled or be being filled with the Holy Spirit. Matthew 12, 35. Jesus says, out of the abundance of the heart. Matthew 12, 36 Out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks What's filling your heart will be quickly noticeable when you open your mouth Hello. I don't need to ask you if you're filled with the Holy Spirit. I'll just stand for a few seconds listening to you and I will notice. Because watch, it's going to talk about for those who speak with the, for those who are filled with the Holy Spirit, you're going to hear them say some kind of language which is equals filled with the Holy Spirit. Watch. Għax meta tismaħom jitkellmu ħajuru frot, ħajuru klim li juri li juma minnim li spiritu s-sant. Because when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you are going to contribute in preserving the unity. Għax meta jinti tkum mim li spiritu s-santu, jinti ħati kontribuixi billi ti preserva l-unita. Watch. Speaking to one another about your pastor and his wife. Araw xaw miktu pa wek. Kelmu ma xurxin dwar il pastor un maratiaw. Is that what says? Ektejt. What the... Oh, speak to one another about the other church. How loud they are. Ektejt. Tkelmu ma xurxin dwar dik il knisja l-okhra. No, it says speak to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Imma le muxek jiet, jiet kantaw flimkin salmi jinniet u għana spirituali. Amen. Singing and making melody with your heart to the Lord. Kantaw għannu min qalbkom lil mulej. Are you a nice sound to God? Inti ħosta bi halalla. Or you sound like a where is it? How many of you love to listen to Shagula? What, what's the word? It? Uh, what, how many of you, when you heard, have heard a cricket and you say, Oh, that is such a lovely melody? <laughs> you know why it's called the cricket? Or where is it? That's because he hang out around some Christians. <laughs> now listen, when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, it will be shown in your words. And unfortunately, you sometimes you get around some, some people who claim to be Christians. They're grumbling. They're gossiping. And what's even worse, they don't feel bad about it. Are they preserving the unity in the spirit of God? If I, if I come to you and I talk to you against your pastor, 
If you come to me and, 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 and you tell me uh, some other Christians what they're doing and you gossip against them, is that you think that's going to preserve a unity between them? The preservance of the unity in the body is not something that's going to happen automatic it's something that you wake up every morning just like you brush your teeth it doesn't mean they don't they doesn't happen automatic you have to do it yourself and people who are filled with the Holy Spirit you will hear them speak with words of encouragement words of blessings words of hope words of love always have a positive report about somebody amen rather than always saying did you hear about him or did you hear about her Leave your trash in your kitchen bin, please. I've told some of you, you've heard me say, I don't want my ears to become your trash cans. Amen? If you have nothing nice, Kind, loving, exhorting, faith building to tell me I don't want to hear it. Amen. Watch, go to Ephesians 4. I do read in the Bible more than the book of Ephesians. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Go and listen to this. Watch. These are people who are filled with the Spirit. 25. Therefore, you lay aside falsehood. Who, do, who does that? Who does that? Me. You do it. Is God going to do it for you? No, you do it. It's a choice. You do it, it's a choice every day. That is day, as we say in Maltese, Balash Boyd. Ait Kiftait bin Malti. Balash Boyd. Parole fil Void, Muatayep al Khat. Um, uh, words with no sense, no meaning in them, they, they don't do anything. Watch. Speak truth, each one of you, with his neighbor. Why do you mean come il gide? Why do the verita we had to live For we are members of one another. Ashahana membri tashurishi. Do you think I get blessed when somebody come and tell me, well, that pastor fall? Or that pastor failed, or that pastor did this, or that sister did this. Do you think I get blessed by that? 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 You know what hurts me? Do you think I get blessed by that? I don't want to see brothers and sisters fallen. I don't want to see brothers and sisters fallen. And if I do hear about it, I'm going to go and pray for them. Amen. Do you, don't you know that when one of, of the army of the Lord falls, don't you realize that the whole army will be affected? And you know what? You may be doing great signs, wonders and miracles. When the world will hear about that one man falling, they will tell you, yeah, you're part of that group, that man who fell, right? Hello? Watch now. Hello. Be, go to verse 29. Let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, but only such a word as is good for edification, 
according to the need of the moment, so that it will give grace to those who hear it. Ebda kelma mushir amanda tohroch min fomkom imma klim sewa li edifika skont il khtija klim li amel il jid lil min yisema. Amen. I was encouraged, Brother Edwin, two weeks ago, he came to the church and he said to us, I want to give you a word of encouragement. Vera e kont inkorajjut e puna Edwin illi jil kini siyaf ti gjematilu alu ritna ti kelma ta inkorajjiment. And he gave a word of encouragement to me and my wife, to some other brothers and sisters in the church, and to the church at large. But these things are not to be reserved just for one in a blue moon on a Sunday or on a Saturday or on a Wednesday evening service. This is our lifestyle, speaking words to build up each other. Imma di mandish tkun xi ħaġa li s-sir darba ek ma tuħu l-fellowship s-sibti u l-ħat imma da tkun xi ħaġa konstanti ta' kul jum li nibnu l-xorxi. Amen. And have nothing to do with those who go around and want to poison the work of God and the body of Christ. U di ma jidi ti kol kom xej xta asmo ma daw ki li morru jiprobaw jivvelenaw ix-xol li għet jamel għalla u la farit li għet jamel għalla u jġisem tak. In the law, in the law of the land, if you go and steal and you're caught, u jidi ti n'qabad, you will be arrested. Inti ti ġi arrestat. But the one who drove you to steal will be arrested with you. Because he was a cooperator. God will not judge only those who speak evil to about brothers and sisters, but he will also judge you because you comfortably stay there and listen to it. Alla ma jidġodi kaj bis il-dik il-persuna il-li t-muru t-it-kellem għafajt ħzijena fuq għahwa uħra imman kili ilek li jinti b-mut komdu għattemmek u għattisma. If anyone comes to you, shut them off. Jek xaħat jidġi fuqek, wakfu, għala għalu. If somebody comes to you and talk to you about a pastor or an evangelist or a minister, Stop it in Jesus' name. I refuse to hear your trash. Jeġi jajt le kontra pastor, jo ministru tal mulej, jo xaħatti għara jidlom, i għaf issa fisan Gjesu Kristu marriċ nisma dan izzibel. Amen. Because this is not going to bring unity. It's going to break up the body of Christ. Musej ġi ponita, għaj kisser il ġisem ta' Kristu. Amen. Here, let's read it again. Let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, but only such a word as is good to edify one another. Erjawa rao hara verse this awo shreen. Ebda kelma mushira amanda tohroch min fomkom. Ima klim sewa li yadifika skont il ikhtija. So those who will hear it will receive grace. Allura daw kli yisma wa yir chivu grazia. Amen. When you when somebody comes and talks to you a negative word about a brother or a sister, it doesn't give you grace. It gives it brings oppression over you. Because it is the fruitful deeds of darkness. Amen. The Bible says in Ephesians, Ephesians actually five. It says, here it says verse eleven. Do not participate in the unfruitful deeds of darkness, but instead expose them. Watch, watch. For it is disgraceful even to speak of the things which are done by them in secret. Do you know recently we had a, a couple who came to our fellowship, stayed there for a few months, and then um, transmired, uh, migrated, migrated to another another fellowship and stopped going there. But they came from somewhere else before. And uh, and uh, they were offended about something. Oh, how do I feel? How do I feel? And when I confronted them, they said, "Oh, no, no, nothing, nothing, nothing." When I confronted them, they said, "Oh, no, no, nothing, nothing, nothing." 
But then they called people from our church to tell us to tell them against me. Imma mat għadu iċemplu nis fil-Knisja fiċ jajdilom kontrija. Jajdulom kontrija. That is not of God. That is cowardice. And it is the work of the devil incarnate. Dak huwa xol ta għadta ladu fil-ġisef. Amen. Don't participate with that. Ti partecipaj f'dan. It will kill the work of God. And you will be held accountable for participating with it. Because you will create an offense. And you will create a stumbling block. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Go to Colossians. I'm talking about unity. Amor of Colossine, I think I'm talking about Ulonita. Why? So we because preserving unity is Wali? not something that happens automatically. Actually, to preserve Ulonita, we should have to see automatically. It's something that you daily work at. In my Shahaja, we need to call you a jet to take them. You know what? My wife and I. Sometimes we're like two bunnies, you know, bunnies like hugging each other, loving each other, and, and oh, honey, you're so sweet, oh, baby, you're so handsome. You know, the people who are so sweet, so we're two bunnies, and we compliment our society, and we don't feel so... And sometimes we have to work hard in preserving the unity. And we have to work hard in preserving the unity. Amen. 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 If it happens between two people, because there is a covenant that's unbreakable, then it can happen between people of covenant. Allora, ti sta sir ben il 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 popolo tal pat. We are a people of covenant. Ana popolo tal pat. Certain things we do is because we know that the right things, not necessarily always feeling it. Ċer tu għaffarit li nam, lu nam luħa maċ nafu li juma tajbin, muċ neċessarja men demaċ in ħossu għom. Amen! I don't always feel like I want to go and shake hands with the pastor that I know he talked against me. Muċ dejem ikon li għabtit jo in ħoss ni kondu li mur e naqbat i dejn xaħatsu nuħodlu bidejn pastor jo li forsi nafir li għattit kellem għazin duari? I, today, the, God, the Lord has blessed us with a TV program. Do you think every pastor has spoke nice and kind of me? Hello, may Allah bring a program for television. That has been a cool pastor. It's called Tayyab Foy. And I know those who did. And those who did not. Because the enemy is so wise. As we say in Maltese, once the word leaves the mouth, it fills the whole world. كيف نايدو كل متى كلمة واحدة تهرج من الفم تملا الدنيا كلها. And those who have spoken negatively, it came to me, even though most of them did not want it to get it to me. وذاك اللي تكلم هذين دواري، شو الكلمة شرطة وصلت لي؟ أقول يا probably the person I married is at the least slowly. But I chose. إما ينزل. To walk in love even when others don't. I chose that when there, where there are people, and I'm not talking only about pastors, I'm talking about other leaders and other Christians. I chose rather to work towards destroying the body of Christ, I chose to work towards building the body of Christ. I chose to preserve unity even sometimes when it is a bit strainful. That's why I'm preaching this message this morning. And I know there are other people and pastors in agreement. I'm not the only one in agreement. Amen. And but you know what? We need to share this message with all the other Christians that are going to come here tonight. Amen. Because This is the heart of God. We're one family. 
Ana familia wada. I'm not talking about let's join, you know, some Christian denomination that are, you know, worshiping Mary and worshiping saints and praying to the dead and, you know, lifting up the man and calling him God and most holy. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about preserving the unity of people who truly are filled with the word and people who are filled with the spirit. Minishet Nately ni na adof shi denominazioni li yitolbu lil Maria yow lil Addisin yow in kella yabdu persona yow yamlu aisu alla yow yitolbu al meitin mushet naitek and it kellem fu aqda of mannis ohrain li mimliin bil kelma talla u vera yment yamlu l kelma there are there are 12 Pentecostal charismatic full gospel churches in Malta and three other evangelical churches. And that's not the first Pentecostal in Malta, evangelic, you are not let the first other evangelic, but I don't think it's Pentecostal. Amen. We support one another. We pray for one another. We bless one another. We speak well of one another. Amen. And what are we Christians doing? What are Christians doing? No, we shoot the first man that we don't agree with on everything. Hello. Amen. Hallelujah. And I am, you know, by the grace of God, we, myself, my wife, and our ministry, we are, we, we want to support other churches. We want to be encouragement to them. And that, I'm, not, I'm not sure that we're going to be on every event every church is going to do, but we want to support. U bil grazzja talla jinu l-mara u l-ministeru li għanna irridu nis-support jaw kne jesuħra ma jfizzija għajrni xinna moru f-kull aktivita li organizzaw imma nis-support jaw. Amen. Sometimes, you know, I mean, uh, sometimes I'm going to speak for myself. Sometimes our church was not able to go to a particular event, but some of our people went. Amen. And uh, and you know, when, when we, this is, this is wonderful, this Holy Spirit Conference, because when pastors get together, we get to know each other. Relationships grow. The Christians, relationship they grow between each other. Christians get encouraged. You know, many people are still, there's, there's still, on, yeah, many Christians are still on high from last year's conference. <laughs> because there was such great unity of among us and, and cooperation and coming together and worshiping the Lord together and, and encouraging one another. Amen. And this year is going to get better. From glory to glory. Amen. You know, I'm going to close with this. Colossians 3, this is very possibly the first or the second most popular scripture in the whole Bible for me. Well, actually, my most favorite is 1 Corinthians 6, 17. He that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit with him. That's my favorite. But this is my second most favorite. Watch. Verse 14. Beyond all these things, put on love. Colossians 3, 14. Beyond all these things, put on love, which is love is the perfect bond of unity. So, you know what? One pastor, one church likes to do things this way. Another church wants to do things that way. Another church want to have the music loud. Another music loud, medium or low. And they, some people want to clap. People don't like to clap. Some people want to run. Some people don't want to run. You know, let 
Let's worship God. You know, God wants all these different styles of worship. Now, if you were like me, <laughs> if you were like me, I would encourage you to do every one of them. Don't miss on anything. Try all of them. Amen. Sometimes run, sometimes cut, sometimes kneel, sometimes cry, sometimes lift up your hand, sometimes just say nothing. Say quiet. You know, but this. These things should not separate us. You know, every pastor, is going, his church or the church at Sunday Eden is going to reflect very much the pastor's character and liking. Kul pastor fil fat em il il group tia o hai kuna ti reflecti da kliu i hop i preferi. I don't know. I know some of us, some of our people are here. Have you have any clue what our church is, is very strong in? Not that others are not, but others are strong in another area which we are not necessarily as strong. Margaret would know for sure. Evangelism. We, I mean, obviously we're a teaching church as well, but we are an evangelistic important. There are churches here that they are very strong in the teaching area. Okay. Less, less strong in the evangelism area. There are certain churches who are strong in the organizing area. They're great in organizations. <laughs> the thing is, it's not that one church have one and the other one does not have the rest. They all have all of them, but then you'll see one strong in this area more than the other. My physician, like Nisi and the Ulohrai Mandomsh, Kola and Dom and the Ula Farid, and Matin Notalif, Nisi at Aralian, Iktab Sakit of Shahaja, Iktar Minohrai. And that's exactly the way God wants it to be. Amen. That's why we need one another. That's why we're going to bless each other and speak well on each other. Amen. Each other. Amen. Hallelujah. I, want, I desire, and I'm not going to say this is my only desire. I know other people here desire it. If, not all of you. And the show I'm to see Malta covered with the gospel of Jesus Christ and the spirit of religion broken and totally sent to hell from his land. In Malinara, in La Din Lart, Mixia, Belvangelo, Okul spirit of religious mixu, Mixer, Umkechim in Din Lart. And we are doing that. What Namlua? It's happening. At the sea. You're doing that. In Tomet. It's happening. At the sea. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's all stand. Praise God. Umu. So we are going to determine to preserve unity unita. to fulfill the desire of our Lord and Savior because we are filled with His Spirit. We walk in love. We, we don't compromise the truth. We bless those who curse us. And they don't realize that they are blessing us twice as much. Amen. Hallelujah. We are the people of God. We are one family. Those of River of Love, I am your daddy, Mariela is your mommy. Those, those outside of River of Love, we are your ankle, we are your aunt. <laughs> Amen. And you need to know who's your spiritual father, who's your spiritual mother. Those are the ones that are going to help you, challenge you, and feed you. Amen. Amen. Let's thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Just say this after me, Father. I thank you for your word. I'm going to be diligent. I'm going to do my part. 
خنامل بارتيتياي to preserve the unity باش نبريسيرفا لونيتا the church of god في الكنيسه تاع الله the church of christ في الكنيسه تاع كريستو in malta and gozo malta و faudes and beyond و اكثر منك if i've ever done something to bring this unity كيف اتمل شهاده باش نجيب ديزونيتا father forgive me اخير لي مسير right now is success and lord from now on ومنلوم القديم use me Uzani. to bring unity in this land of Malta and Gozo amongst brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for every pastor and their wives. We need each other, Lord. You are our daddy. You are the king of us all. Inti irretana. We love you and we worship you. In hope we can adore you. And we thank you. On the ringratiao that you've called us. Lin te seyachtir. You are using us. What to zana? And we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Umberkuk, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God.